his original threefold bending form of Krishna, or Shamsundar, eternally engages in loving pastimes with his most intimate devotees. Krishna also presides over the Vaikuntha planets, but not in his original form. He expands himself into his four-armed form, known as Narayan or Vishnu. Thus, he presides over all the Vaikuntha planets. Once, on one of these blissful Vaikuntha planets, two gatekeepers of Lord Narayan, known as Jai and Vijay, were pondering how they could better serve the Lord. He performed severe austerities 
by standing on the tips of his toes. He became more and more powerful until it looked as if he would destroy the entire universe. Finally, the demigods begged Lord Brahma to come down to Earth and stop him from creating further destruction. O oh, son of Kashyapa Muni, please get up. I have been so much astonished to see your endurance in spite of being bitten and eaten by so many worms and ants. Your life air is circulating within your bones. Certainly this is so wonderful. Now even saintly persons like Bregu, who were born previously, they could not perform such severe austerities. Who within the three worlds could perform such austerities? Who could sustain their life uh, hundreds of years without even drinking water? Your austerities, your performance of austerities have now become perfect. My dear Varanya Kashibu, Please get up, you may now ask from me any benediction. <laughs> of this cosmic manifestation. You are beginningless, endless, omniscient, and beyond the limits of space and time. O oh my Lord, O oh best of the givers of benedictions, if you would kindly grant me the benediction that I desire, then let me not meet death from any of the living entities created by you. Granted. <sighs> then grant me this, that I may not be killed on the ground or in the sky. That's all right. Then grant me this, that I may not be killed during the day or during the night. Oh, I comply. Then grant me this, that I may not be killed inside or outside. Of course, that's all right. Then grant me this, that I may not be killed by a man or beast. That's all right. Then grant me this, that I may not be killed by any weapon. Of course, that's all right. Grant me this. I want sole dominion over all living entities and their presiding deities. And I want all the glories that come from this position. Furthermore, I want all mystic powers, for these cannot be lost at any time. Oh, Hiranya Kashiku, these benedictions that you ask for are impossible to be had by most every man. My dear son, Hiranya Kashiku, right now, you will be the one. I'm going to grant you your boons. I'm going to fulfill your wish right now. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now I'm immortal! I'm immortal! Death, close your portal! For I am free. I hear you, 
splashy pool and free. And now everyone worship me. <laughs> Come with me, Chase Lady. You must come to my ashram. There you will be protected, and you can remain there until the return of your husband. Quantities of gold. 
and what to speak of that lustful art of attracting the most beautiful women? <laughs> well, perhaps you are too young for such talk, but he be glad you will be successful, just like your father, Hiranya Kashipu. So come, my son, sit on my lap and tell me what you are learning in school. Oh, best of the swords, as far as I have heard from my spiritual master, anyone who has accepted a material body, anyone who has accepted a material body has fallen into the dark well where there is no water but only suffering. One should give up all his material possessions and take up shelter at the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. What? What? Thus is the intelligence of a child that has been spoiled by the words of the enemy. Sunda! Amaka! <laughs> Take this boy to the Gurukula, where he is educated, and see that he has complete protection, so that he may not be further influenced by Vaishnavas, who may go there in disguise and spoil his intelligence. You understand? Yes, my lord. Go. Come, my lord. Public leaders appeasing them by giving them. 
nutritive posts, dividing and ruling over them, and punishing them in cases of disobedience. Then, one day, after Perlad's mother had personally washed the boy and dressed him with sufficient ornaments, they presented him before his father. dear son, Prahlad, tell me, what have you learned from your teachers now? I haven't learned anything from my teachers. They just teach me how to lie and cheat. And what's wrong with that? That sounds perfectly complete. Every young man has to learn how to bend the rules a little. So come, my son, sit on my lap and tell me, what is the best thing that you have learned in school? Shabbat on Kirtan on Vishnu. Shmadan on Pada Sevanam. Archanam Vandanam Dasyam. Sakyam Matmadi Vedanam. Hearing, chanting, remembering. Hearing, chanting, remembering. Serving his lotus feet and remembering everything. Offering everything to him. What? <laughs> what? Well, leave 
at once. You. Gods! Throw him into the boiling oil. Perhaps God needs some cooking. Go ahead and write this. Let me 
because of my enmity toward him, I shall certainly die. Oh, and I'll get Kashi Poo. You are the greatest of the demons. Just with the slightest movement of your eyebrows, all the commanders of the various planets are afraid of you. Without any assistance from anybody, you have conquered all the three worlds. Therefore, I don't see any reason for you to be unhappy or remorse. You think Pilot, so? Pilot is just a small boy. Let us take him back to our school, and then we will purify his intelligence. Yes, I will give you one more. Just by chanting Krishna's names, 
we will become purified. Chant after me. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.
Oh my Lord, you are unlimited. You are unending powers. You are so wonderful, none of your actions could be polluted. Therefore, my Lord, I offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Prahlad, Lord Nusingadev is very angry at your father. Therefore, my son, you go and appease the Lord. My dear Lord, you are never conquered by anyone. I am certainly not afraid of your vicious mouth, your eyes bright like the sun, your tumultuous roaring, or your mane soaked with blood. But I am certainly less afraid of my condition of life within this material universe. When will that time come when you will call me to the shelter of your lotus feet? My dear Prahlad, most gentle one, all good fortune unto you. I am very much pleased with you. It is my pastime to fulfill the desire of the living beings. Therefore, you may ask me any benediction you desire. My dear Prahlad, you may live a long time and accept all benedictions for the material happiness. My dear Lord, kindly do not tempt me with these illusions. One who desires material benefit in exchange for devotional service cannot be your pure devotee. If you at all want to grant me a benediction, then I wish that you will take all material desires from the core of my heart and that you will excuse my sinful father. O oh, gentle one, my beloved, may all of your fathers, may all of your desires for my service be granted. Your father, Hiranyakashipu, he is a great devotee, and he has already been liberated. I bless you that in 21 generations of your families, both before and after you, will all be liberated. Sing a day of the something that Guru Dave has been wanting to see produced and we just got them in. It's called Songs of Our Holy Masters and it is entirely in English. Mangala and her whole family worked many, many nights tirelessly putting this CD together for the devotees during this festival. They just came today and they're right over here to my left so please there's only 200 copies. I think there's 700 devotees here, so uh, see if you can get them. Also, they have t-shirts, and all of the t-shirts, of course, go to help with Gaur Sundar. Gaur Sundar is also on the CD, so please check both things out, the CD and the t-shirts.
And we have one more announcement from Srila. He'll tell you what he has to tell you in just a moment. I just want to uh, thank everyone again for coming to this 2007 Sri Vyasa Puja Festival of Sri Guru Day. This is the fifth annual festival here in Hawaii. And I'm sure everyone is beginning to appreciate it more and more with the plays, with Guru Day's very invigorating, powerful Harikata, uh, the edifying lectures given also by the senior disciples and sannyasis, uh, the very spacious, beautiful facility we have here, the gorgeous worship, the tasty prasadam, and as you're feeling appreciative, you can show your gratitude in a very small way by paying your festival fee. Because, first of all, your presence here, this festival will not go on, but also your help is required. And so, I am paid my festival fee, your festival fee will help pay for Guru Dave's lodging, very beautiful, spacious quarters, they're also hosting the sannyasis, and 